Uh, it's been about 10 days since our last video. I think our last one was in Jog Jakarta, where we were collecting our visas and we were filming pet markets. We're just putting the finishing touches on this pet market video, and it will probably be released when we get back to the UK for a number of reasons, but primarily we haven't finished filming it, so we need to do that. Before long, we are proudly presented with a sugar glider for sale. The sugar glider is a small, arboreal and nocturnal gliding possum that has gained huge popularity as a pet in recent years. We notice a particular affinity towards nocturnal species, with large eyes and ears lending them towards a certain cute factor. Seeing them sold in such numbers draws a parallel with Western family favourites such as hamsters and guinea pigs. In Indonesia, it is legal to own macaques like this one here. But we got back to Chibigante after Jogjakarta. We did a little bit of filming in Bandung first, and then we got back to base camp. Yeah and were met pretty quickly with a first for both of us, which was an earthquake. <laughs> at about 11 o'clock at night, I was woken up, Will was in the loo, to about a five second earthquake, which was obviously pretty small in the scale of things, but nonetheless. I was having a wee. You were having a wee. Um, <laughs> this is a new experience. They're fairly common around, around where we're staying, so we're told, but. And we've been met by all kinds of environmental things. We've had like severe, with weather storms at the moment we're having a lot of wind a lot of rain it's knocked out our power it's knocked out our water um, and although it's a novelty for us it's what the communities and lfp go through on a daily basis so they're all well drilled with how to deal with the situation but for us we had to have our dinner under head torch like the other day didn't and you had an interview. i had an interview the, and the power came on five minutes before my interview so that was always fun Apart from that, we've been doing a bit of filming on various different projects. So the coffee farming video, which is going to talk about the production of coffee from beginning to end, is almost finished. Well, it's oh, it's getting there. Um, it was a 45 minute video that had to be cut down. It's all in Indonesian, so I need someone to translate it and I have to overlay all the footage. Uh, but we're getting there, slowly but surely. We've also been doing some filming with a really talented wood carver in the village um, who has a lovely story. He was taught wood carving by his father and has been carving since the age of seven. And now he does all the wood carvings for LFP that go on their Etsy store, which funds quite a lot of the work they do. So that one will hopefully be finished in the next couple of days. And then we've only got... I'm not going to finish it in the next couple of days. That one needs to be translated as well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Spoiler, we don't speak Indonesian. <laughs> <laughs> and then once we've done that, we've got about a week more photography to get a couple more lorises. We've had some great footage of lorises. We've also had some terrible days with lorises, but we went out on rounds, which was an opportunity to go around a number of locations and try and get a few lorises um, and also see what the monitoring system is like. So we can see how LFP do what they do basically, which was really informative for us and hopefully useful for them. As I say, we've got a couple more lorises to get and then we've got a, hopefully a little bit of a holiday from our holiday. We're gonna head over to Bali for the final week before we start to make our way home. So this might be the last update before we are in Bali. Yeah. Maybe. Cool, well done. <laughs>